But hello, nice to see everybody. I'm Caroline, for anybody who has not met me before. I've been teaching for SFU Rec for, I wanna say since 2014, but it might be 2015, but it's been at least five or six years minimum. And I'm really excited that I'm able to teach online. I uh, have been teaching yoga for years and used to teach uh, some group fitness classes as well as bar and uh, other things too. So abs, buns, and thighs. So usually with vinyasa yoga, if there's anybody here who's never done vinyasa, please let me know. You can let me know in the chat. If that feels okay, you can always send me a private message too. So with vinyasa, it is a more intense style of yoga. We do use the sun salutation, so it is supposed to balance out your energy, reduce stress, but you may sweat. <laughs> so I'm just going to apologize in advance for that. And please, Nick is on as well. So if you have any questions or queries, feel free to ask him. He is my amazing rock star uh, program director who is pretty amazing. So who makes sure that this is possible each time. And if anybody has any injuries or anything I should be aware of, please, please, please let me know. Uh, but most important, if you haven't been working out a lot in the last seven weeks since we've been off since the last set of classes, which thank you for being here on the very first one of the season, please, please, please go easy, be gentle, and be kind to yourself. Sometimes that's the hardest part is competing against your past self. So just making sure that just trust yourself, things do come back. I was just telling Nick in our pre-show um, pre-class chat that I know I'm training to do some things that I haven't taught in a year because of the fact of everything being closed. And I'm hoping when things change that there might be some openings for some things to be able to go to the gym, et cetera, again. But that said, I'm really glad that you're here today. And we are going to get up. We are going to get going. And we may sweat a little bit or a lot, depending how you're feeling. So be kind to yourself. And if you ever miss a class, please check out our SFU Recreation YouTube channel, as well as SFU um, at Recreation on Instagram. You can always follow me, which I'm basically Caroline underscore McGillivray on Instagram to which I do have all sorts of tips about stress reduction on a regular basis. And sometimes we'll let you know just in terms of if we're doing anything special like pet yoga or any other things like that through, through rec and then on my own too. All right, everybody, let's get started. And this is my friend Ripley. He sometimes likes to join me for class, and I'll try and be really mindful. Sometimes she does like to try and knock over my tablet. All right, so let's get started. Let's take a nice big breath in. And exhale. And taking a deep breath in. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Let's just bring chin to chest. Rolling the head from side to side. I know many of us have spent a lot more time on Zoom and in meetings online. So it's important just to release the neck. Being kind if you have any injuries for your neck, you may or may not want to get in there. So just being super kind to yourself. Coming back to center, let's get into our shoulders, taking a big breath in, feeling any stress, any tension on the exhale, let it go. And let's do two more of those deep breath in and exhaling. And one more. And exhale, encircling your wrists, bringing them up because we are on our hands quite a bit once we get into things. And just a few stretches side to side, feeling yourself opening up those spaces in between the ribs, getting into those intercostal muscles, as well as through our obliques as well on either side of the abdomen.
And coming back to center, circling the wrists. Let's take the arms behind your back, shoulders roll back, interlace. Feeling yourself lifting your hands, feeling that squeeze between your shoulder blades. Taking deep breaths in and deep breath out. Okay, releasing our arms and just to release the low back too, let's do a few hip circles and then we're gonna get ready to flow. You're gonna start a little bit slower I know it's first class back for those of you who've been with me for a while, feeling free to add on things if you've been practicing regularly through the break. Reverse other way. Just noticing any tight bits, and I'm really glad that you're here today. It's so important for us to take that time to breathe, to move, and flow. And I actually say taking breaks during the day is really helpful for our productivity, especially when we move and breathe and then come back to things. It can be very, very helpful. And when you're ready, let's find yourselves up at the top of our mat and let's take a big breath in, reaching arms up. Exhale, flat back coming forward. Inhaling for a half way lift. Exhale, bringing hands down. We are going to take our left knee back, coming into a low lunge. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bringing hands down. Let's step back into downward facing dog. Nice wide spread fingers, head in between arms and walking through the feet. Taking big breaths in and big breath out. And softening both knees, looking past your hands, jump step or float your feet forward. Let's inhale for a halfway lift, bringing shins, hands to shins. Exhale, relaxing down, softening your knees. And let's find your way all the way up. Exhale, bringing hands to heart, hands to side, and reaching up again. Big breath in. Exhale, bowing forward. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, hands are going to come down. We are going to take right knee back this time. And inhale, reaching up, big breath in. And on your exhale, hands down. Exhale, step it back into downward facing dog. And walk through the feet, sinking into one knee, feeling your opposite heel reaching towards the ground. And softening into your knees, looking past your hands. Jump step and float feet forward. Let's inhale for that halfway lift. Exhale, relax and down, soft the knees. And let's come all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. Hands to side, let's add on. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, bowing forward. Inhale for a halfway lift, this time bringing hands to the ground. We are going to step it back into a high plank and hold it here for five breaths. Feeling your heart over your hands. One more big breath on your exhale. Soften elbows, hugging them in towards your chest, coming all the way down. Inhale, lifting up your heart. Exhale, tuck your toes, stretching it back into downward facing dog, walking through the feet again. Softening into the knees. 
And rooting into right foot, picking up left foot, stacking left foot, left hip over, right leg bending knee, and breathing into that left side body, keeping both hands on the ground as we breathe. Taking nice deep breaths in. And nice deep breaths out. One more big breath on the exhale, slowly unstack, reaching left leg up. And on your exhale, bringing knee towards your chest. Inhale, extend back. Exhaling knee to chest, really hugging in. Reaching back one more. Knee to chest. Inhaling, reach back, stepping foot in between hands, planting it down, taking back knee down, coming up into that crescent lunge and breathe. Feeling yourself pulling up through the pelvic floor. Taking deep breaths in and deep breath out, slowly bringing hands forward and let's take ourselves into a twist, taking our right elbow over to the left side. So option one is staying here, two is picking up your back knee, bringing it into that twist and breathe. Seeing if you can open up that top shoulder just a bit more. One more big breath on the exhale, both hands down, stepping both feet back, walking through the feet again. And rooting into left foot, let's pick up right leg, bending right knee, stacking right hip over left. And breathe. One more big breath on the exhale, slowly unstep and taking knee to forehead and inhale, reach it back. Exhaling, knee to forehead. Inhale, reach back. Exhaling, knee to forehead. Reaching back, stepping foot in between hands, coming all the way up to that crescent lunge again and breathe. Feeling yourself really elongating the spine. For those of you who want to put a little bit of a back bend in, please do. Feeling how good it feels to breathe, really reaching fingers up to the sky. One more big breath, slowly bringing hands together. We are going to twist to the right. So taking left elbow, bringing it over to right side. If it feels okay to tuck back toes, picking up back knee, please do. Pulling that belly button in a bit more, which sometimes helps make it easier to twist more to the side. Taking deep breaths in and deep breath out. One more big breath on the exhale, slowly unwrap both hands onto the ground, stepping the breath all the way up into a high lunge that soften both knees looking past your hands. Let's jump, step, or float the feet forward. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down, soft the knees and finding your way all the way up. Exhale, bringing hands to heart. Hands to side, reaching up. Exhale, diving down. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhaling, bringing hands onto the ground, jump step or tilt feet back into plank. 
and soften elbows, hugging them in, coming into what we call chaturanga. Lifting heart up into upward facing dog and staying here for a few breaths, making sure we're pulling up through pelvic floor ribs or pulled together as we breathe. Really breathing into your lungs. One more big breath on the exhale, tuck toes. Transition back into downward dog. You may want to step, feet a little bit further. In. And when you're ready, we're going to do a variation of bird dog. So picking up your left foot in the back, seeing if you can pick up right foot in the front, and bring knee and elbow together. Extend out. And knee and elbow. Extend. Knee and elbow. Extend. Knee and elbow. Extend. Knee and elbow. Extend. Three more. Knee and elbow. Extend. Last two. And I can tell I haven't done these <laughs> for a bit. For each. Knee and elbow. Extend. Reset, replant when you're ready. Let's take the right leg up, left arm, and exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Reach. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Both hands, both feet onto the ground. Let's walk through the feet again. And when you're ready, let's root into a right foot. We are going to do 10 kicks with our left leg. Here we go. Extending like that. Five, six, seven, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stepping left foot between your hands. Let's come up into a high lunge, a warrior one. So your pelvis is facing forward. Reaching arms up. Your back heel may or may not be on the ground. The back toes may be turned towards your right front corner of the mat as we lift our heart, softening into that front knee. Taking big breaths in and big breath out. One more big breath. When you're ready, let's take our arms behind your back. Roll the shoulders back, interlace. You may want to bring your legs a little closer towards each other. And bringing heart forward and breathe. One more big breath on your inhale, coming all the way up, soften into front knee, extending arms up, big breath in on the exhale, both hands come back and stepping it back. And when you are ready, taking right foot, left hand, reaching out again, second set of bird dogs, curl and extend and curl, extend. Curl, extend, curl, extend, curl, extend. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Reset, taking left leg, right arm. Find that foundation, and when you're ready, bringing it to eight. Seven, 
six, five, four, and if you can't do eight, that's okay, do what you can, five, three, two, and one. Both feet on the ground, both arms feeling that downward dog, and picking up right leg, eight kicks, actually my line, 10 kicks, five, six, seven, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stepping foot between our hands, coming all the way up, reach. Coming into that warrior one, that high lunge on the other side. And again, back foot may be on the ground, and heel may be up, really reach. The warrior series is really great to do especially if you're nervous about a presentation or a group chat or an exam or anything, these are really great just to help you hold your ground and getting into your personal power. Couple more big breaths. When you're ready, let's straighten the front knee. We are gonna take our hands behind. If you can do your less dominant grip, interlacing the fingers, Hips reach back, hips are square, and feeling your heart bowing forward. One more big breath on the inhale, slowly coming back up, stopping your knees, reaching up again. One more big breath on your exhale, hands are gonna come to the ground, let's step it back into downward facing dog, soften into your knees, looking past your hands, jump step or float, feet forward. Let's inhale for a halfway lift, exhale, relaxing down, soften your knees, and let's find your way all the way up. Exhale, bringing hands to heart and hands to side and reaching up. Exhale, bowing all the way down. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, bringing hands onto the ground. Jump step or float back into plank. And when you're ready, we are going to come into a side plank. So rooting into your right hand, pivot to your left side. So option one knee is going to come down, two, top leg comes forward, three, stack, four, and five, which I cannot do today is where you extend that top leg. Really breathe. One more big breath on the exhale, coming back through center, let's find your way to the other side whichever variation feels best to you. Feeling yourself pulling up through your core. One more big breath on the exhale, coming back to center, coming down through Chaturanga. Inhale, lifting heart up into upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck your toes, stretching back into downward facing dog. Let's pick up our left foot and taking left knee to left upper arm. Inhale, reach back, left knee, left upper arm. Inhale, reach back, left knee. Left upper arm. Inhale, reach back two more. Last one. And stepping left foot in between hands, planting it down. We are going to open up 
our hips to the right side. So we're going to open up our pelvis and our left or our right foot to the right. And I am going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing. Really breathing. Taking those deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Taking back arm gently pull, bow and arrow, extend and pull. Extend, reach, and pull. Extend, reach, pull. Extend, reach, pull. Extend, two more. Last one. And reach all the way, taking elbow on top of leg and framing head. Really breathing. For those of you who are able to do the bind and you'd like to today, feeling free to come into it. I will be going over how to do that in the next few weeks as we breathe. Feeling that stretch all the way from the outside edge of the back, but right to your fingertips above your head. One more big breath on the exhale coming up and lifting heart up. Breathe. Really belting your warrior, softening into that front knee. One more big breath on the exhale, returning to warrior two, and let's straighten front knee, coming into what we call triangle by extending that right arm up to the sky, left arm is starting to reach towards the ground. This may be really intense, so if you're not sure, you can always keep hands on hips to get that nice line, really engaging the abdomen in your spine as we breathe. And one more big breath on your exhale, softening into your front knee, coming back up to that high lunge. We are going to bring ourselves all the way down to the ground, stepping it back into downward facing dog, and walking through the feet. Sinking into one heel, then sinking into the other. Feeling how good it feels to move, how good it feels to breathe. And when you're ready, let's pick up our right leg. We're going to take right knee to right upper arm. Inhaling, reaching back, and right knee, right upper arm. Inhale, reach back, feel that squeeze in your glute as you extend back, making sure your abdomen and back is engaged too to protect your spine. Let's do one more. And when you're ready, we are going to step that right foot in between, open up the back foot. We are going to come up into warrior two on the other side, really breathing. Taking those big breaths in and big breath out. And I am going to pivot so you can see me a little bit better as we breathe. Softening in and pulling up, ribs pull together. And when you're ready, let's take the back arm, reaching it forward. Squeeze, extend, bringing it forward. Squeeze and extend, bringing it forward. Squeeze and extend, bringing it forward. Squeeze and extend, couple more. Extend, reach, squeeze, extend, last two. Last one. 
and reaching for taking elbow on top and reach. Pulling up through pelvic floor, feeling that engagement, relaxing your front toes. Really imagine lengthening that left side of your body as we breathe, opening up top shoulder just a bit more. One more big breath on the exhale, finding your way all the way up, lifting heart and breathe. Slowly bringing it through center, left take, left hip back, and extending up, coming into triangle on the opposite side. Really lengthen and open, pulling up through pelvic floor, top shoulder stacked over bottom shoulder. One more big breath on the exhale, finding your way back up and breathe. One more big breath on the exhale, both hands come back down, stepping it back and walking through the front. And softening into your knees, looking past your hands, jump step and float feet forward. Let's inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down, soften your knees, and let's find your way all the way up. Exhale, bringing hands to heart, hands to side. Let's bring our feet about hip distance apart. We are coming into what we call chair. So we are going to reach as we soften our knees, seat reaches back, option on hands to hips, two arms come up and breathe. And see if it's possible to sit a little deeper. If you're ever training to do this, try sitting in a real chair and then taking your seat off by about an inch off. And it's a really lovely way just to build that strength and power. One more big breath on your exhale, coming down into a forward fold, inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, jump step or float, feet back, and coming down. Softening elbows. Inhale, heart comes up. Exhale, tucking toes back, reaching it back into downward facing dog. And walking through the feet again.
coming back, center softening, looking past your hands, jump step or float feet forward. Let's inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, relax and down, soften knees, and let's find our way all the way up. Exhale, bringing hands to heart, hands to side, and share a second time, reaching arms up. I forgot to mention at the beginning of class, if you ever want to keep your camera on, please do. We will have everybody muted, but if you ever want your camera on, I am always happy because in that way I can see you make modifications to look I can see you. But really breathing, I want you to feel comfortable because this is always your class, your time, your experience as you breathe. One more big breath on the exhale, coming down, inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, bringing hands to the ground, jump step or float back into plank, down through chaturanga. Scooping heart up into upward facing dog, tuck your toes, stretching back into downward facing dog, walking through the feet. And softening into your knees, looking past your hands, jump step or float feet forward. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down, soften. And let's come all the way up. Exhale, bringing hands to heart and hands to side. Coming back to center, rooting into right foot. Coming into tree, so option one is taking left heel above the ankle bound two is the calf three is coming up to thigh. So for you, oops, this is your teacher falls over, seeing what feels best to you as you breathe, finding what works well. And if you can, reaching arms up, feeling both legs squeezing towards each other, engaging your glutes. Pulling up through pelvic floor, ribs pulled together. And it's always okay to hold on to something with your feet. Feeling yourself taking a big breath in. On your exhale, we're turning back both feet on the ground. If you need to shake out, please do. Feeling the breath coming in. And exhaling. When you're ready, let's bring it to the other side again. Option one, heel above ankle. Two is cap. Three is side. So see what feels best to you. Big breath on your excess, slowly 
coming back into mountain pose, breathing in through the bodies of both feet. And taking deep breaths in and deep breath out. And when you're ready, widening the feet, soften your knees. We are going to find ourselves in a very deep squat, coming into what we call masala. Your heels may or may not be on the ground. I usually bring my legs a little bit wider, especially if it's well, for me, my first class in teaching in the day, which this is, um, just because my heels do not want to come down, and they may or may not, but I do find having a little bit of a wider stance makes it easier. We still want to lengthen the spine. Your elbows and the backs of the arms are pressing along the inner legs, so not on the knees, but on that femur. Really breathe. Breathing deeply into your back, breathing into your hips. One more big breath on the exhale, hands come down, we are going to straighten. Pivot your feet so toes are facing forward and just shifting your hips side to side. Coming back to center, soften knees and tuck the pelvis slowly. Rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, bones stacking upon bones. Taking deep breaths in and deep breath out. Really breathing. And when you're ready, we are going to find our way down onto our backs. I am going to change our music. So once you come all the way down, I want you to bring your knees in towards your chest and gently hugging them in and gently rocking side to side, just giving your back a little bit of a massage as we breathe. And if it feels okay, you may want to extend arms, extend legs to yawn and stretch, feeling fresh, cool there, warm air coming out, feeling how good it feels to lengthen and just breathe. And feeling yourself soften arms, soften hands and shoulders, legs that bend both knees. Let's just take your feet to the outside edges of the mat, feeling your low back melting into the ground because you may need to lengthen a bit. And just allow from your hips, the knees to melt from side to side. slowly coming back to center, reaching arms, reaching legs to yawn and stretch, feeling fresh, cool air coming in, warm air coming out. And we are coming towards the end of our practice, coming into what we call Savasana. So just feeling your hands relax legs, arms and shoulders, a 
the neck and head, feet, legs, torso, glutes. And you may want a blanket, you may want pillows. And as we allow our eyes to soften, perhaps close, feeling yourself breathing deep. Taking deep breaths in and deep breath out. And seeing if it's possible to stay awake, focusing on our breath, or if you like to work with mantras, picking a saying that works well for you. Feeling yourself taking a deep breath in and exhaling. Starting to feel movement returning to fingers, to toes, to hands, and feet. If you'd like to reach your arms above your head to yawn and stretch, please do. Feeling fresh, cool air coming in, warm air coming out. And slowly rolling to one side and using your arms to guide you. Slowly finding your way back up to a tall seat. And let's take a big breath in, reaching our arms up. And on our exhale, bringing hands together in prayer and bowing to thank yourself for coming and practicing. So important for taking breaks, taking care of ourselves. And I wanted to thank you for letting me guide your practice. Thank you very much, everyone.